So the previous time I showed you how to create this infusion, but there's a much easier way, which is using the DVE. I'm going to show you how, let's go. I'm going to place my clip on top of a generated background, which you can find here, generators, and then you can pick solid color or a fusion generator. Then what you need to do is you need to search for the DVE effect and then drag it on top of your clip. There we go. And now the image popped over here, so it stands out, but we're going to double click the position, double click the Z position, and we need to get rid of the border by going to border and then remove the border blend. Here we go. So now it's time to keyframe this. While we're doing that, make sure we're on the first frame when we begin, and then we are going to create a keyframe. Then we're going to move to the final frame of this clip, and I'm going to change these values. Now I want to zoom it in as well, so I'm going to click a keyframe here, which means I need to go back to the first frame because we don't have a keyframe there just yet. And we're going to click this little dot right here, which will set it back to default. Now, if we play this clip, then here is the effect that we've created with the DVE. But it's not very smooth, right? So we're going to change that by clicking up here, which will take us to the Fusion page. Now, we're going to select the DVE, check this box. And if you don't see this spline, go to Workspace and then Show Panel and Workspace, Spline. That will make this pop up. Clip, click inside this box, Control A, and then click S on your keyboard to smoothen it out. Now let me show you this again. Isn't that lovely? Much, much smoother than before. 